Hi, I'm Gauri, co-founder of Max Street Prep Co. Hi, I'm Gayatri, founder of Matstick. And uh, Gauri, congratulations to this uh, spectacular addition to the Max Street family. And finally, we can buy all our favorite breads off the shelf. So actually, the funny thing is that Max Street Bread Co. started off as a B2B brand where we were supplying breads to uh, restaurants and cafes around the city. And um, of course, uh, when COVID struck, that uh, changed everything. And uh, we switched from being a B2B brand to a B2C brand. Um, so, you know, we weren't really prepared for this because as restauranters, one never really looks at packaging in a, in a serious way. Delivery is not a big part of, uh, you know, what we do. And, uh, you know, the, the last 18 months has changed that completely. Uh, so, with, the, with Max Street Bread Co., which, you know, which really took off as a B2C brand um, during, during the lockdown, uh, we were forced to use what we had available and, you know, that resulted in all these greasy stains and handwritten labels and tape and you know hopefully that's all a big horrible distant memory um, but you know it really made us realize that uh, packaging is such an integral part of the experience for uh, a consumer and you know it's one of the first touch points for uh, for them when they get our product and uh, we really needed to up the ante on our packaging to match the quality of the product that we were we were selling and that's when we started sort of rethinking um, our entire sort of uh, packaging. Um, and you know, one of the sort of key elements of what we wanted to do was to um, do away with with plastic. Uh, you know, when it comes to retail, at the end of the day, everyone wants to showcase their product, right? So the obvious thing is to use plastic and have see-through packaging um, where where people can see what what they're about to buy. Uh, and to be able to do the same thing without using plastic would be more tricky. Um, and that's when we have this idea of using, uh, of showcasing the product in a life size way on, on the packaging somehow. And we came to you with this vision, Gayatri. So um, talk us through how you, you know, executed that vision. Sure. So uh, I would say it's been uh, six crazy months trying to come up with this packaging. And I still remember um, sitting on that conference table with uh, cup after cup of black coffee trying to figure out how we're going to solve the plastic problem. And um, I think what we realized is that people, when they indulge in breads, it's a daily product. So they want to see what they get. They, uh, a lot of people go and pinch their loaves still today to, to see if they're fresh. And um, as you rightly said, well, people want to see what they get. So what you see is what you get is what we came up with where you have the product on the packaging itself and uh, with our no or at least our journey towards no plastic we let go of uh, the windows we let go of cello tapes we let go of labels and um, i think the packaging also uh, told a beautiful product story it tells you uh, it's honest uh, it creates uh, transparency without it actually use, uh, using without using plastic or it being transparent and um, yeah, and yeah. you know, I mean, this is this is a, an example of, of uh, some of the packaging, and you know, it's got the the real deal. Um, yeah. It's it's not sort of uh, fooling you. It's the real it's the real stuff. And uh, you know, the other thing is that we uh, wanted to create something that was uh, beautiful, look beautiful in itself. That you could even gift this um, to people because, of course, a lot of people buy our products as gifts. So, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's great packaging that allows you to give it as it is. And um, so, yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's basically what our uh, uh, journey towards this packaging has been and going by the response we've had so far, um, you know, we, we've done the right thing. And of course, this was our first retail space. Uh, you know, if you look at bakeries around the world, uh, they have all their products sort of beautifully displayed uh, on the counter, on the shelves. Uh, in Bombay, with the weather being what it is, uh, that is uh, that was a little tricky for us to do, and especially from a hygiene perspective as well. But we really think that the packaging makes up for that. And I think what you get is you can see the assortment and the range without actually uh, having them display all the products. And um, I think you also take the cafe experience home, which is lovely. So it's not just walking into a cafe and smelling uh, the lovely breads, but it's, it's uh, visually stimulating as well. And um, taking something, a part of something you love home is, is always amazing. Yeah, and it's, 
been really hard for me to throw away the boxes after updating the product. So <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you made that hard for us, but uh, yeah, that's that's the packaging story behind Max Street Red.